Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to script leaderboards and uh, lead stats in Roblox Studio so that when a player joins, they get a folder in their player that holds different values that can be changed in other scripts in your game. So, the first thing we're going to do is make a new script in Service Script Service, and I'm going to call it Lead Stats. And then what we're going to need is an event that fires every time a player joins the game. So the way we can do that is game dot players dot player added colon connect function and then pair of brackets and we need to take the player object so I'm gonna call it player. So now this event is gonna fire every time a player joins the game and it's passing us this player object here. So we now need to make a folder in the player called leader stats. That's when you make a folder in the player called leader stats, Roblox recognizes that and puts it on the leaderboard. So, first we're going to make the folder, so if we call it local lead stats, and we're going to do instance.new folder to create a new folder, and then we're going to change the name of it, so lead stats.name, and we're going to set that equal to lead stats. Again, so Roblox recognizes it, and then we're going to change the parent, so lead stats.parent, and we're going to put it in the player. And now we have our folder, we're going to want to put some stuff inside the folder. So we're going to have cache and we're going to have level. So to make the cache, first of all, again, local cache equals instance.new, int value this time, and then cache.name, set that equal to cache, and then cache.parent, we're going to put that in the lead stats folder. And now we're going to do the same for level, so local level equals instance.new int value level.name equals level and level.parent is leader stats. So now what we're doing is we're taking the player that joins the game and we're putting a folder inside the player called leader stats which Roblox will recognize and that'll put information on the leaderboard. And then we're putting two int values in it to display the player's cache and the player's level. So now, if we play the game, you'll see that on the leaderboard in the top right we have cache and we have level. So if I go onto the server here and edit some of the values, so if I give myself 500 cache and I say I'm level 3, and then I go back to the client, you'll see it updates and it says I've got 500 cache and I'm level 3. So there you go, that's how you can make a leaderboard system in Roblox Studio. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.